in this lecture we will learn about java socket programming so what are sockets when you want to connect two different computers okay so we have two computers on the network and you want them to communicate let's say we have a chat application we have echo time server okay so any such application if you have so basically what happens you have a client and you have a server okay so what happens is that let's say this is the server this is the client so the server is running its server socket and it is in the listening mode okay so the server will start okay so the server starts this is the first step then so it starts on one ip address and port number okay then it starts listening okay so it starts listening for connections if a connection comes it accepts that connection then you will have send receive actions so the client might send some data okay so the server will receive server might send some data which the client will receive then finally it might be close the connection okay and this will keep on happening okay so the socket class so it basically is the main class where you have a socket is something like you have the source ip address and the port number for the server side basically two machines are chatting or talking so you should have the source ip address of the the ip address of the source ip address of the destination port number of the source and port number of the destination okay so packet travels like this so each packet has one source ip address the source port then it also has a destination ip address where that packet needs to go and on which port okay so on the same computer also lot of different services or applications are running so one thing is that ip address tells which computer you need to go and port number tells on that computer basically which application you want to go or which process okay so this is the case and here we will look at how you can write a java code that will make you construct a client server program ours will be a simple echo client so echo client and echo server okay and what it does it's very simple a server starts so it starts at the local host okay 127.0.0.1 and then what happens it starts at some port number specified by you so 5432 let us say i give it a port number 5432 it starts now it is in the listening mode we start the client also and i tell to the client that okay some service is running on server ip address i give and the port number it tries to connect okay so the client tries to connect to the server the server is listening it accepts the connection now both of them there is a socket so this is the server this is the client they can send data to and fro okay so this is the basic idea now we should look at the code 
of what happens okay so let's look at the code so what happens in the code so let's try to see so this is the first echo server so we have the echo server here and let's see for the echo server we have so we have the echo server here in this echo server class what happens is that we have give a port number we have the ip address which you give as local host and when you give this so the server socket will automatically take it as the local host's ip address so we start a server socket okay so this is a server socket we have a server socket object made and we say new server socket and we give a port number so this means now we have a server has started on a given port number and then what we print that okay server has started now what happens let's see so we also say that we start a socket client and what it does that will accept connections from the server socket okay so that will accept now connections then it is now this basically this line the socket client socket server dot accept so this is a blocking call which means it is now waiting for some client to make connection and it is waiting here when something is connected a client connects it writes got connection from and that client socket dot get inet address so this will give you the ip address of the client which wanted to connect to you and has got connected and client port number okay so we got the information about client ip address and its port now what happens we try out uh, we make a output stream for that socket so that we can write in that okay so let's see so what we do here is that we make a client socket dot get output stream so we get an output stream from where we can write to the client okay so this part the printer write print writer output so this gives us the client socket dot get output stream so now i can write to the client okay so buffer reader so this is buffer reader new buffer reader so here now we can read whatever the client is giving us okay so client is giving us some information on the socket so we can read it using the input stream in this while loop what happens this is an infinite while loop which is waiting till the time the server is the and client are connected so it is reading lines from the input stream and then it stores here and if it is not equal to null it says that got message and it prints the whatever it got from the client okay and then it keeps on looping okay if the connection is somehow there is some exception it says that we have got some exception while listening on the socket okay so this is the server code now we will look at the client code okay so the client code let's look at it we have the echo client we have again the host name and port number okay and these are the host name and port number of the of the server we want to connect to so socket echo socket we make where we give the port number and the ip address or the host name of the server then we say that okay now we are 
so when it is done we are connected to the server okay now we again want that output stream so that i can write to the server okay so i get it by print writer class out and i have echo socket dot get output streams so through that i can write to the and send message to the our server then what happens is we should have some way for getting messages from the server also so in our case it will become input stream for our socket and echo socket that dot get input stream will help us in getting messages from that server okay so now we in the echo client we want the user to input something we take it and from the system dot in and then we send it to the server okay so again in a while loop user input we take from the standard input and then we send it to the server using the output stream of the client and then again it says that okay now that message is sent in this line the message is sent through the output stream to the server and then again it asks that do you want to send something else and then again it waits for input read line from there if something is there okay so that okay so we read again there and this keeps on going so you can again send a message so while user input has something and here what happens so through the output we send something and again what happens here if you have something in the input stream okay so what will be the input stream here echo socket dot input so whatever is coming to us from the server so we print that also here okay and this keeps on going so now we will run this code that will be quite interesting so we run first the server okay so let's see so the, we have a code server code we will run it so we run it so now you see server started at port 5432 it is printed here now so this is the code if you see so this is the code for the server okay so this is the server code and we say that when we server socket was created we said that server started at port this so this line is printed you see here now what happens we should start a client also so we start our client so now you see connected to socket and whose address is because both of our server and client are running at the same computer the local host and what happens connected to socket whose ip address is this 127.0.0.1 and port number is 5432 and the client's local port is assigned by the program the computer which is 50968 okay and now it asks that okay what do you want to send to the echo server so i write hello server my first message one okay so what happens now this is printed here echo hello server message one so this message hello server message one is just printed whatever was given by me is printed at the client then the clients write do you want to send something else then we said that if we had got something at the output stream okay the input stream for the client which is the message from the server so it says hello server so this is the code if you see it is here so we are at the client so you see we read some line we output that line so that is hello server message then we wrote client what do you want to send to the echo server again it is coming here and then 
यू हैव एक्ो इनपुट डॉट रीड लाइन सो दिस इनपुट डॉट रीड लाइन इज द इनपुट स्ट्रीम फॉर द क्लाइंट विल बी वॉट एवर इज रिटर्न बाई द सर्वर एंड सेंट थ्रू द आउटपुट स्ट्रीम सो दिस इनपुट स्ट्रीम इज बेसिकली मैसेज फ्रॉम द सर्वर एंड इट सेज हेलो सर्वर नाउ लेट सी एट द सर्वर सो सर्वर गॉट कनेक्शन फ्रॉम द सेम मशीन एंड पोर्ट नंबर वॉज फाइव जीरो नाइन सिक्स एट and the message was hello server message and it was from port 50968 okay and its local port is 5032 so this way you can keep on going okay so i can again send a message so hello message 333 so i will again get reply hello message 33 here it also got the server got this message okay so now if you close the connection for the client if i close this application so okay so something else has opened so connection exception caught so now the server also was reset okay and the client stopped okay so these are the things that happened i hope you understand this programming of client server programming thanks a lot